We do want to get right to this video from Us Weekly of Michael Jackson and what it may have meant for the rest of his life because the idea that doctors may have enabled Jackson's potential addiction to prescription drugs has implications that go far beyond him. Now, this video that we're watching, it's disturbing. It happened during the taping of his 1984 Pepsi commercial. On the sixth take, the pyrotechnics used in the commercial went off too soon, igniting Michael's hair. Nearly 10 seconds would pass before he realized his head was engulfed in flames, and Michael would then suffer second and third degree burns to his face and scalp. After that, he reportedly went through a lot of painful procedures and was prescribed several medications that many people believe led to his addiction to prescription drugs. One of the people who was there that day actually helped put out the fire was Michael's good friend, Miko Brando, the son of actor Marlon Brando. He joins us now. He's in Los Angeles. And we appreciate you being here. We feel sorry for your loss. We want you to know that right off the bat. I know this is a difficult conversation for you because Michael was a friend. Thank you for having it with us. Yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate it. It means, it means a lot to me. Yeah, he was, it's a terrible loss. Let's deal with that day in 1984. You're there. You're watching the taping of your friend. What do you remember? I remember being stage left, uh, watching him rehearse that particular segment. And his uh, hair was on fire. And I'm like, oh, my God, my friend's on fire. And I went up to him and just shook, shook his head and try to put it out and then uh, was thrown to the ground and then after I was we were down there the fire marshals came out I remember and, and took over told us to make room for it for them uh, they, they raised them and then they, 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 they walked them off stage now with the benefit of perspective Miko what do you think that day meant did it get Michael into a world of prescription drugs and doctors that he did not know before uh, I don't know. I'm, it's hard to say. I mean, it, it was an, it, yes, it was an accident. Yes, he took medicine. Yes, the doctors gave him the medicine. Yes, it was a horrible scene. Did it start the, th who knows? It, we're, we're, it, it, it's speculation. I mean, only he would know. But you understand why it's important, right? Because if no, Michael, no, I understand. If Jackson, I understand what if Michael saying. Jackson was getting doctors to give him things he didn't need, that wound up leading him uh, into an addiction. You know, you've seen the pictures that have been TV, on TV of the sores on his legs, yeah. track marks. I mean, did you see that in him and, and and know how this was happening? No, not at all. No, I never. No, I don't. He, he was a friend of mine. I didn't uh, in, inspect him every day, or every time I saw him. No, I'm not not at all. Do you think that when Michael would feel pain after this episode, that this was a situation that was not managed well? No, I think it was managed fine. I remember taking him to his appointments, taking him to rehab. I mean, he went, he, he, he followed doctor's orders. There was nothing out of the ordinary that, you know, that, that he did. I mean, when the doctors told us to go back to rehab or we had a, had a doctor's appointment, he would attend it. And only him, and that it was it was done by by the book. Well, looking at it the other way, then, do you feel that these allegations that Michael Jackson was an addict, he was addicted to these drugs, that we see track marks on his legs, that there's evidence uh, of his abuse of these drugs, is that all overblown in your opinion? It's it's I mean it's their opinion, not my opinion. I never saw it. They can say whatever they want to say. I mean I've, I haven't seen anything to change my mind. But you knew him. You were his friend. You stayed in contact with him. As f so you're telling me, as far as you're concerned, Michael Jackson didn't have a drug problem. Michael Jackson didn't have doctors around him who were doing things for him that they should not have. Oh, I know he had doctors. I mean, we all have doctors. We all have a personal doctors. I'm not saying what they did and what they didn't do. I never saw his arms. I never, I mean, no, he, he was just a good, good friend of mine. I don't, I didn't see him that way, the way people are describing him. These pictures that we're putting up on the screen now uh, from 2002 of the sores on his legs and what seemed to be track marks, you never saw any evidence of anything like that? No, not at all. Not all only on TV. Um, the Michael Jackson that you knew, do, would you describe him as a man who was in pain? If he was in pain, he should gave off a lot of love because he was very loving, very caring, always there when he needed him. I'm always concerned about my family, my kids. Uh, just always, I mean, if he, he always was concerned about, it seemed like everything, of, anybody other than him. He was worried about me and how I was doing and very, just a very concerning human being in general. The allegations that come from his father 
about his concerns that this death was not accidental, that Michael was being helped in hurting himself. Does that make any sense to you? No, it, it's all, it, it's everyone's a, 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 a opinion. It's his opinion, our opinion, your opinion. We're not going to know until what, in, until the final papers come out on the, on the incident, on what happened. And I know that more than anything else, you want your friend to be remembered for having been loving to you and everyone that you knew, right? That's the Michael you want yeah, to remember? Yeah, I mean, any, if, you, if you talk to anybody that, that really know him well, they'll tell you the same thing. He was a really good guy. I've met a lot of people in my life, and I've yet to met him, nor do I think I'll ever meet anyone like him again. He was just an extraordinary human being, and I miss him very much. And we are sorry for your loss, and obviously it's no, a thank loss. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. It's a loss that's mourned the world over by many. So thank you for joining thank us you. today. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate Thanks a lot. it as well.